Look, I'm sorry for the cocky and corny title, but in this week's video, we're gonna be covering my full entrepreneurship journey. Two words, entrepreneurship. How I went from an employee working at McDonald's to making my first $75,000 a month profit earlier this year. And a quick disclaimer here. Now this video is not here to impress you, to flex on you. This video is to impress upon you, you know, to show you that it's actually possible no matter what age, that you can actually do it. And another thing growing up, you know, I used to watch these videos that motivated me to want to start a business and everything like that and get ideas. So that's the reason why I'm making this video, not only to share my story, to show it's actually possible. And as I said, this is not to flex or anything like that. This is just to show you that if they can do it, if I can do it, why can't you do it? Let's get into the video. Let's start how it all started back in 2018. So this journey all began in a small country town called Jelton. That's located around near Perth, five hour drive approximately. And that's where it all kind of started. I was just this kid with a dream that wanted to make money. And do bear in mind, we grew up in a middle class family. You know, both my parents worked normal nine to fives. They weren't nothing crazy. So yeah, that's how it kind of all started. And I started from zero. So <laughs> that's how it obviously started. Everyone starts from zero. Got no handouts from anyone. This is all pure from me. Uh, maybe my parents and everything like that motivated me to keep going, um, but they weren't really, uh, you know, for with me to start my business. They were kind of against it because they were kind of scared. They were kind of nervous for me. So that's what kind of led to that. So then it all kind of started from there. You know, I started, you know, my first year in high school, started selling lollies. And then, you know, I came to working at, you know, McDonald's. And the funny thing is with McDonald's, you know, I had no car. So I had to ride my bicycle up and back from work every single day um, that I was working. And that was kind of tough, you know, but that was kind of motivating me, you know, that I'm really hungry for it. I'm going to work for it. As I said in probably the other video that's linked up here, um, I made around $20,000. And then from there, I kind of went into the dropshipping space, tried a lot of business models, as I mentioned, but the eBay dropshipping specifically was where it was made perfect for me. Now, benefits of eBay dropshipping, you don't need to build a website, you don't need to spend money on ads, you don't need to buy apps, no Shopify plan that Shopify does. So that's kind of the difference between Shopify and eBay, all those benefits and everything like that. And that's where it kind of clicked for me. Now, the first product that I ever sold on eBay to get my sales was an electric tree trimmer. So I sold that, made a good profit, and the funny thing is, was that I listed it the first day and it sold the exact same day. And that's where I was kind of like, whoa. You know, I was really happy. I was jumping around, rolling around on the lawn. I made my first sale ever online. And then, you know, I just really came from there, just started listing more products, started scaling further. So when it hit November 2020, I did 5K in my first month. So that was my first month of really getting into the eBay dropshipping space. And then from there, I wanted to get to 10. So I had to double the input, double the output, and then that's where I kind of got to 10K. And then, you know, a few months later down the track, I decided to get a mentor. Now, this mentor that I got, um, I had a terrible experience. I spent $1,000 on him. I got completely scammed, completely robbed. Um, I worked so hard. And even though it's only 1K in today's days, that's not a lot of money. But back then for me, as a kid, that was a lot of money and to have that taken away from me um, and get really nothing in return was just heartbreaking, <laughs> I should say. Um, and that just kind of motivated me to move forward. So then it came, you know, January 2021, you know, fresh year, decided, you know what, put the, what happened last year behind and let's just time to, you know, knuckle down and make money. So I started obviously my eBay dropshipping business, also built up a consulting company on the side. So I was kind of running both at the moment and um, yeah, that's where it kind of scaled for me. Doing both was working really effectively. Um, combined in Jan, I was doing 10K a month and from there it just went 10K, 10K, 10K and then I hit my first $20,000 a month. And that was for me, was just like a reality check that you know I would that would take me two years at McDonald's to make $20,000. And the fact that I could do that in a month was kind of unreal. And now it was at this point where I realized that if I want to scale to 50K a month, 75K a month, I'm going to need a mentor, someone who's been there and done it before. So I decided to do all my research out there and try find a really good mentor to get me to that stage. And I stumbled across one in actually 2021, um, late November. So the reason why you know I wanted a mentor is number one, I had not enough skills. You can't learn this all your own. You're gonna need mentors who's been there and done it before. And that's what I knew that I needed to do to move forward. Now this mentor at the time was crushing easily a million dollars a month. So if I wanted to get to at least 100K, 75K, I need to follow his strategies and what he's teaching me. So that's why I use money as a tool to buy these skills to accelerate my success further. Now, 
by doing this, fast forward back to 2022, you know, into around March, April, that's when I was around 30K, 40K, 50K consistently. There's no way I'm making anything below that. I just had the skills and right systems in place to be always be hitting that. And also my eBay dropshipping business and my consulting business, both of them were working really well at the time. Um, do bear in mind, I did have kind of some stocks and everything at the moment. My stocks are down like 50% since, you know, this current crisis that we're in at the moment. But my goal is obviously it's important that you always invest in yourself every single month to acquire new skills because the all top 1% all have to take risks to get to where they are today. That was in the back of my mind when I was obviously starting kind of this journey. So in August 2022 of this year, I hit my first $75,000 a month and I was over the moon, okay? Once I get to $100,000 a month, I'm gonna make a video on that. At the moment, I'm at 75K a month, so I'm sure you guys will see that video in the near future. So yeah, that's kind of how it was, you know? I started off very small, started learning myself, you know, trying to get the ropes, and then when I wanted to go further, I got guidance from someone that's already doing 10 times what I want to achieve, and then I can try mend and try get to that kind of goal. This takeaway from this video is that Make sure if you're going to get a mentor, trust them fully. Make sure you're doing Zoom calls and face-to-face -face calls with them so you actually know who you're working with. And genuinely, what I would recommend is that make sure they're in your country. You're going to communicate a lot better if they are in the same country. Now, regarding like the eBay dropshipping and everything like that, that didn't come coincidence. I struggled with so many business models, failed at so many things. Um, and that was the one that clicked for me. So if you're watching this, I truly believe any business model out there works. It's just that obviously if you put the work in and be consistent at it, I'm sure you're going to succeed. All of them work. You've just got to have the right knowledge. Um, and at the end of the day, that was the difference between me, where I was, and where I am now. It's just the knowledge barrier. That's the only difference. So yeah, that's basically kind of my story, my journey on how I went from a McDonald's person only making $1,000 a month to making 75k a month currently. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel and subscribe to the channel if you want weekly content. If you have video suggestions, drop them down below. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.